Hello everyone, I am Sacred and thank you for joining me in another Heart of Iron 4 Mod Spotlight. Well, also I just got my new Dex Racer chair so you shouldn't hear the annoying sounds of my old chair anymore. And I can tell you one thing, this chair is just simply comfortable as hell. <laughs> Not as hell, but simply really really comfortable. It is so comfy that I even can't describe how comfy it is, let's uh, say it that way. And for anyone who wants to support me, feel free to do so. And my Patreon link is down below in the description. But as always, your subscription and your view is support for me already. Support for me already. Yeah. Well, let's get back into our extended spotlight. Into our extended spotlight in Hearts of Iron 4. So here we will enjoy the fall of fascist Russia. I uh, sadly, I have to say one thing. I really, I did forget to save, and therefore I only have my old save. Therefore, what I have done for you is I played the bit. I played the bit until well, it's not the same. Uh, well, border here, for example, I took Leningrad, and I didn't take this part here. But well, if you saw my last experience spot light, we were clearly winning as the Bavarian Soviet Republic. And also, please, I want to urge you to let me know in the comments which countries we should annex and which countries we should puppet. Yeah, which countries? So, well, I am I am not sure about entirely annexing Russia or puppeting it. Well, if I puppet it, then I plan one thing, then Actually, puppeting would be more effective, because then I would reduce them to a integrated puppets, so therefore get getting most of the factories, but I'm not sure about that, so let's see. Let's get into the game, now let's continue our game as the Bavarian Soviet Republic. Yeah. So, well, our KD here is slightly better than it was before. And for all of my Turkish viewers, for all of my Turkish viewers, you see, Istanbul, Istanbul and Edirne, Istanbul and Edirne, is still controlled by the Russians. I will give this land back to the rightful Turkish owner. Not to the Greeks, I mean to the Turks, yeah. So, go should to leave a like for that, yeah. So let's play on a low speed. Well, let's check the war. So, we lost 772,000 units, the Russians lost 1,520,000 units, and the Krakowians are here as well. So, uh, my units are they all advancing under the command of Leon Trotsky? They are not, but now they will be. And the uh, fort, the Fiat de Befreiungs Armee. Let's see, you will make a attack to Moscow as well. The second Befreiungs Armee, you have no task, you're gonna capture Kiev for me. Let's delete the order, delete the order, assign you to this type front. Make a attack to Kiev. Alright, there we go. Now, execute aggressively. Uh, what do we need? We need uh, steel. So I want to get some provinces from the Russians with enough resources. For example, the steel rich areas, where do we have many steel? Have uh, we need oil too, so I'm gonna get the oil lord trees of, uh, of the Caucasus here. Where do they have steel, the Russians? Well, here, here probably, so... Mm, I'm not sure what we should annex. Well, we currently have limited experts. Let's do close the economy first. Close the economy. Now let's see, of course, yeah. Let's develop our... let's fix the factories first before uh, developing nuclear factories. Actually, the Russians can build their factories. Why should we fix their factories? We are gonna keep building our nuclear reactors. Yeah, that's a good idea. I was saying, so now we have a surplus of steel. We don't need any steel. Okay, the rest we need. So we need rubber, oil and tungsten. Let's see, all rich areas. Yeah, I'm gonna annex this whole path. I'm sorry for the Bavarian effort. I think we have to. Do they have uh, rubber and tanks? They have some tanks in here, that's sweet. Get some tanks in from them. And here as well, in Pokrovskaya Sloboda. Pokrovskaya Sloboda. Alright, let's see. Fate of Russia. Well, now the front turned red. It's against us, Sally. Is it? Let's say to push aggressively. There we go, now it's better. Alright, I wanna wish to, I wish to finish the war quick. My tech variants, they will make a breakthrough attack on my arm. I'll command them on my own to capture Sevils, actually to capture Moscow, the Russian capital, Moscow. Let's move them all behind the skirts, outskirts of Moscow. Here we go, first tank army. And I don't know why, but in this, well, in this attempt, the Italians actually, they did not join the Russian faction. So we have to take the Italians out on our own. <laughs> That's easy, I have to take them out, we'll take them out on our own. 
the fascism is big boost in Italy, well that's not so nice to say the least, but they are the problem, they can go fascist or whatever they want, want we will bring them to an end. So then, look at that ahead of time, let's get actually some marines. I was glad you know if you would like to see me invading the United Kingdom. Well, they are mainly communists, so I may stage a coup there simply to ease things up. Alright, my tanks. Let's see. First tank army, they are still on their way. Still on their way. While our armies are pushing relentlessly into the Russian territory. With our planes, we can tell them to. Well, fine. Let's keep them active. Okay. So, well, 96%. We have. 844,000 casualties, 844,000 casualties, and here, did we encircle? Oh no, they, okay, there are no divisions left, so it seems like there are no divisions left there. Are there, or just can't we see them? I I'm actually not sure if there are divisions left, or if it's simply us not being able to see them. That's the question here, the question mark. Our tanks, they are taking their time, are they really? Yeah, can be said. I'm gonna here, assign them to only two provinces, fine, and now they should take Moscow on their own without me having to tell them what they should do or think. Let's uh, see if that's actually the case. Now let's get Blitzkrieg. Blitzkrieg and there we go, we just encircled, well, one Russian division, that's it. And I can see clearly more here, clearly more Russian divisions, let's get our units all to attack them. And now we're attacking advancing through the eastern area. Well, we captured Leningrad, the eternal capital. Well, it is the capital of the Russian Revolution, but now it's in our hands, so I'm sorry. Second Russian Empire, let's check there. My Bomats. They will still have a considerable a strong economy. If you check the factories. Yeah, so we have to disarm them as well. <laughs> Which the Bavarians would have done. Well, the Czechs, they are a no faction, they are democratic. The Czechs, they are democratic. Alright. Well, let's see here the coming turn, and then we have the Czechs. Alright, so they're the allies, they probably have. Yeah, they have more planes than we do. Yeah. No, yeah, I simply didn't build any planes. Well, that's a problem. That's a problem. And what are we gonna use submarines in order to do so? Use submarines. Alright, so. Well, I think this mod. Well, we can't sell it, release countries as Ukraine and Belarus, Ukraine and Belarus and other countries. Can't like release Ukraine or Belarus, therefore I don't know if it may, if may, it may be the best thing. And kind of how I expected the divisions here are still alive. So I'm gonna separate all these divisions at once and tell them to push against the remaining Russian forces. We have General Jonas Roberts. Jonas Roberts is gonna push for us aggressively, let's say on a balanced manner. Our tanks are they advancing? Yep, they are. Let's see, if we capture Moscow, I think the Russian fascist lair should fall once and for all. Well, I may actually do an encirclement here as well. If I just break my tanks through this line, then they are all encircled, but uh, I can't be bothered to be honest. Well, I could, but we are currently attacking Moscow. Well, the Russians are 60% towards capitulation, 60%. Where are our tanks? Our tanks are still attacking the enemy relentlessly. Yeah, if I control them on my own, I, I could simply break through one front, so that the AI isn't able to like create the spearing line. Let's see, uh, let's see the way how the AI works. So, well, we can try to attempt to make a end second with these troops. Let's go and seize Kiev. There we go. Troops in the rear, well, you bloody get into the battlefield, what are we waiting for? Alright, you're getting in. Don't have to garrison our coastland at all. Well, that's a good thing. And well, these units against the French, they aren't really necessary. Let's assign them rather to the Italian front soon, yeah. Well, the Italians, they will be really, really surprised, to say the least. Yeah, they will be surprised, to say the least. But there are many Russian divisions here in this uh, theater. These provinces in the bulk of Luga, I can call that. And look, Finland, Finland is nearly fully liberated. Finland is nearly fully liberated. Our tanks, I assume. Uh, well, the first Panzer army, there we go, pushing towards. Well, you can simply go forward, for example. Go forward, the AI doesn't see. I don't know why they're not going forward, why they are going this way around, all the way around. Like, this if they go to this province, not attacking all this province. Uh, Alright, whatever. 
So, here we go. We are actually in Kiev already, so if we capture Kiev, the Russian war effort should be greatly, greatly, well, stagnant, to be honest. Here we go. We at least encircled one more Russian division, and now we're gonna, ca gonna capture Kiev. The 49th Genossen Division will march down on its own into Sevastopol, and this uh, division is gonna march down into Odessa. Together with the division, as a help. There we go. The fall of Kiev. Lowering the Russian unity until or at they are 76%, 76% towards capitulation. So, if we capture Sevastopol or any other great cities, the war should be ours. Our tanks are advancing. There we have another seven Russian divisions. We can attempt to break through the line. Attempt to break through the line. Attempt to break through to cut the line. Cut the Russian line. And now we have encircled another six Russian divisions, so they are going to get crushed completely. The the forest is also not gonna help them. The forest is not gonna help them, they will get crushed more or less. We have to close the encirclement bulk here in the area. It's gonna close soon. This 31st Tritzet Pervaya now is gonna get eliminated. Yeah, I got it. Thank you. I know. Okay, just look at that. Capital of the well, former capital of the Second Russian Empire, of the Russian Empire, is in, in our hands. Simply superior. If we see this, uh, let's go into Moscow. Fine. You know what? Simply infantry, since our tanks, they aren't able to do anything properly. I'm just gonna tell them to go into Moscow on their own. They may be able to do so. Now, we're gonna encircle these divisions there, crush them. Let's see if we can force and circle them here. Not really, but I can attempt to attempt to close the line. Oh, now they are reinforcing the provinces. Reinforcing them, I thought, you know. Let's turn our troops. Redirect their attack. Yeah, that's well. That's working well. If they reinforce most of the provinces. Yeah, this area is really well fortified, I have to admit. We're gonna seize Odessa, seize Odessa, and this year we're just marching through Russia into Sevastopol, into the Crimea. Well, Putin wouldn't like that, but well, this guy isn't that handsome like Putin is, therefore I don't care about him. And they only have a nationality of 36%, only of 36%, well, that's really, really low. And they are 83% already towards capitulation, 83%. We have units in both 80% of the At least they can go through the line, attack through the line, break the Russian defense. Are they gonna capture Kiev? No, we won't let them capture Kiev. We're gonna attack them. There we go. No recapture of Kiev. You just gonna march into the rest of all. Just capture these provinces. Just fill the job you go into Krivoyori, Jovka, Rostov, or into Rostov. Rostov on Don. And there you see our tanks. Our three infantry divisions marching into a nearly completely undefended Moscow. Just uh, they are defending Moscow, which is completely, uh, horribly equipped, horribly organized infantry division. Well, now I'm sorry, but you, your capitulation will be imminent at your loss as well. So, on the 19th of February, 19th February, okay, the battle is still going on. They reinforced the line with, with the general called Anton Jelikin. So it's Andriy Vlasov fighting against Anton Jelikin. We have our tank to do just breaking through it, assisting our attack on Moskva as well. Let's check. We lost 1.01 million troops as attackers, while the Second Russian Empire lost 1.81 million troops in total. That's a, a certainly well greater loss for us. I mean for them. Like, if you consider the fact we are attacking and they are defending. Like, how bad they are defending. And, come on, why didn't you capture Sevastopol? Sevastopol? Well, anyways, it shouldn't matter, the capture of Moscow should be decided. Here we go, capture of Moscow and the war will be end. Will end today, 22nd of February 1942, the capitulation of the Second Russian Empire. The capitulation of the Second Russian Empire on the 22nd of February 1941. Well, well, first how I promised I'm going to take this land and then give this back to the Turks. Yeah, give this back to the Turks. Alright, well, now that's easier said than done. Now, what should be annexed and what should be not annex? Well, they are really big, so let's get first for Poland. Let's get all of Poland into our uh, rule. Let's 
can't sadly, I cannot annex this, these permanents, so I have to, well, puppet them, I don't know why. I can only satellite them. Yeah, I can't annex them nevertheless, that's sad. So, then let's see, we needed oil and tungsten, so... Mm -mm -mm. Krasnodar, Caucasus Mountains. Yeah, let's annex Crimea. Crimea, Krasnodar, Starabopol, Grozny, Caucasus Mountains. Azerbaijan, Armenia, and Georgia. Although they have nothing, they have really nothing there. They're just nothing. Let's still annex them, so... Yeah, they will be called uh, independence or republics at one point. Yeah, yeah. Alright, Saritsyn, they can keep that. Well, we need, to, well, some steel. They have steel here in um, Murmansk, Anega. Well, the second Russian Empire, we can only re uh, somewhat sell like Prussia, Azerbaijan, Armenia, and Georgia, and nothing else. Oh, uh, we could, oh yeah, let's sell like the Great Mongolian State. Sell like them, since we cannot annex them actually. And what should we take? Well, while you're talking of, they can keep that. They have many resources here. They can keep their resources in these provinces. Took the Caucasus. You know what? Let's simply annex the former Soviet Socialist Republics, except the Russian SSR. Yeah, let's simply annex the former Soviet Socialist Republics, except the SSRs. This will mean that we will actually well get well be not the German Red State anymore. We will turn into the Soviet Union, into the German Soviet Union. So we will consist of the German Soviet Socialist Republic. A new addition will be the Polish Soviet Socialist Republic, with these provinces, I guess. And then another addition will be the Ukrainian Soviet Socialist Republic. So let's annex all provinces of the Ukrainian Soviet Socialist Republic. Ukrainian SSR, Valun, Lvov, Khmelnytsky, uh, Zhytomyr, Kiev, Cherniv, Paltava, Cherkasy, Vintsia, Adyessa, Nikolaev, Kherson, Dnieper, Petrovsk, Zaporozhye, Uzhovka, Luhansk, Kharkov. Kharkov. I think Sumi as well, yeah. Now we we are also gonna create a Moldavian Soviet Socialist Republic within the Bavarian or within the Bavarian Soviet state. So in the new Soviet Union, we can patiently imagine that. Use your imaginations. There we go. We are also going to annex the Belarusian Soviet Socialist Republic. Well, just imaginary. So Bialystok, Palaji, Mosul, Babrusk, Minsk, Vitebsk, Kamiel, Vilna, Novgorodiek. Also going to annex uh, the Lithuanian Soviet Socialist Republic, including Kaunas, Zionilai, and Memo. And last but least, no, not last, actually, the Latvian Soviet Socialist Republic, annexing Kurgem and Vigem. And then also the Estonian Soviet Socialist Republic, because this is of Harju and Tartu. And also the Finnish Soviet Socialist Republic under direct Bavarian Soviet rule. Annexing Uizima, Karyala, Savo, Pohyanama, Lapi, Petsamo, and Sala. Let's also annex the Karelian Soviet Soviet Republic Imaginary, including Murmansk, Anieda, and Alan Nietz. So, shall we also annex Petrograd? Oh, they can keep Petrograd. Yes. Oh, yeah, it's also annex the eternal city of Petrograd. Well, the Russians would have no Black Sea fleet then, so let's keep them there. Yeah, they can keep Pet Petrograd. They can keep Petrograd. So the second Russian Empire, well, they still control quite a bit of territory, oh, yeah, so let's end this turn, shall we? Let's end this turn. What did the French actually do with the French? Oh, they took nothing. Oh, they gave us their... Oh, thank you, France. Really kind from you. So this is the Russian mainland. We can simply finish it, leaving them fascists, but no, why would we? So, you can puppet all of them. Yeah, the capital would be Saritsyn. Started Sintek, and they would still have Rostov. Rostov? Yeah, they could keep Rostov, I would say. Although we... I don't know if you need the direct land connection between Rostov and these provinces, but I don't... I don't... do not think so. We do not, so this can stay under Russian rule. As well as uh, Petrograd. Petrograd and Luga. So they have some ports at least. Now let's puppet the rest. Turning it into the Soviet Union, and then let's end the turn. There we go. So, end the turn. Treaty of Tsaritsyn. Well, we raise world tension by only 27.7%. Well, and the turn say it's done. Now let's see the results. So Bavarian Soviet Republic took 61 states. 
was puppeted, Mongolia was puppeted, Union of Soviet Socialist Republics was puppeted. Well, that's a superbly great thing, that's simply great. Now we have 387 factories, the Russian states, well, they, yeah, we took them off their most civilian factories. I'm sorry, Union. Look at that, the leader is what? 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 Please. Please, game. Please. The leader, the leader of the Union of Soviet Socialist Republic is Jonas Evans. Jonas Evans. Well, that is not a really Russian name. Jonas Evans is leaving the Union of Soviet Socialist Republics. Well, that is interesting to see, to say the least. But, well, I wouldn't have expected that. Well, that Jonas Evans. Not, I mean, maybe Leon, Dr Leon Trotsky, Leon Trotsky, or Joseph Stalin, or Lenin, or all his dads. Uh, they could it, but... or maybe Khrushchev as well. So they give me a Russian name, but now the game gave me an uh, English name. So Russia is led by the SDLP... SDLP? SDLP party? SDLP? SDLP. No idea what that is then. Uh, well, alright. Well, and look at that flag. They still have the Soviet The Union of Soviet Soviet Republic, so they should have turned red in the first instance. And they still have the uh, Tsarist flag. Just just look to that, the Tsarist flag of the Russian Empire. Well, that doesn't really fit in that well. At least they are puppet of us. We have plenty of oil, so we don't need the imports anymore. Yeah. And that was a brutal war, which resulted in complete victory, in complete victory of the Bavarian Soviet Republic. But resource-wise, we can use everything, because we have supplied to our capital with that, so that is great. Well... Now, the map looks a bit weird, since, well, see, just imagine us being the Soviet Union, then it won't look that weird anymore. Now, Czechoslovakia is left. Uh, going to war with them would result us in going to war against the United Kingdom as well. Well, I don't care. Let's stage a coup. Let's stage a communist coup in the UK. Let's see, where can we stage it? Wessex, London, Cornwall, no, no. We can stage in West Midlands, Yorkshire. Let's stage the coup in... Well, one good populated province, landmark, Lothian, perhaps Lothian, Lothian, let's stage it actually in Yorkshire, in Lancashire. Yeah, let's stage it actually in Yorkshire, since the port is slightly better located there. Stage a coup, communist in Yorkshire, there we go. Yeah, also, yeah, alright, that's a good plan. One of the government, let's cancel uh, that, there's no suppression. Let's go for, uh, yeah, let's the Great Purge. Well, we don't have meat for that since Poland doesn't even exist. Our focus tree, you can call it uh, complete. So let's actually go ahead here and get uh, spread subjects. So the Russians will get, will turn to an integrated puppet for a nation. Yeah, let's stop the bell plans. Well, but the fascist menace isn't one yet. Let's check the map onto other fascist countries. We have to kill fascism into its roots. Oh, there are still many, many fascist countries. China, Zhuangzi, Yun Free Empire. Oh, oh, the Japanese, the Japanese. We have to knock the Japanese out. Well, the Japanese, they are in war with the British, and the British are invading them. They got even Nagasaki. So, I'm going to send all of my troops, actually, well, to against the Japanese. Yeah, the Italians can wait. We have to knock our Japan and unify China back under our rule. There we go. Let's. Uh, I'm just going to. Well, I don't know how I should concentrate my armed forces since the theater is really huge. If you see this front line, it's a really, really huge front line. Well, Xinjiang is communists, but they don't want to join our faction. Oh. Well, I'm not going to war against communist nations, clearly, therefore, I'm gonna, uh, well, get good relations with them. The Mongolians, they are puppets, so, and the uh, Thinkangese, they are not, but we're gonna, uh, well, get friendly relations with them. Well, the Americans, the Americans, mm, they are attacking Chile and actually Japan as well, but they don't want to join our faction. Or actually, yeah, they would. I would just have to increase the relations a bit, then we would get the Americans into our faction as well. Another coming turn. So, did you say something about the Great Growth? Oh, and I forgot, sorry, sorry, sorry. Turks, you will get Istanbul and Edirne back. Istanbul and Edirne. So, manage occupied territories. Here we go. The return of these territories to the Turks. Now to the Greeks. I, I 
I'm surprised you. No, no. To the Turks. Here we go. Turkey, enjoy your land. Here we go. Turkey. I'm sure the Turks are really, really happy about our efforts now. Ismet Inunu. Probably. Well, he'll like us. He'll certainly like us for doing so. And I would mind if they militarize these provinces. Now the Turks got Edirne and Istanbul. The Trakia back. There we go. Alright, now. Uh, yeah, let's see how well overextended the area will be if we move our troops into the Mongolian and uh, Manchukuo, and, well, into the Japanese front. Research complete. Research complete. Alright, uh, next thing in the three that's ahead of time. Only a bit low, but still ahead of time. Completed our research here. Let's go for it yeah, with the clothing. I'm sure we won't fight in any. Well, uh, cloth count, but still, let's uh, simply go for that. No harm in it, I would say. All right. So, well, new chess really country, but I have to get used to it. Uh, well, like how I should sit on it, like that way or the other. All right, research I think. Complete. So, research complete. That's great. Well, the infrastructure is horrible in Mongolia. It's actually horrible everywhere in every province. So I don't think I can. Uh, well mount a huge attack against the Japanese fascists. Let's start justifying against them. We should only take us 10 days, they probably won't have time to reinforce the front anyway, so we may use this momentum to crush them. Yeah, I want them to get away from these territories. Yeah, all of the provinces are obviously going... We can invite the USA, there we go. Communist States of America, Communist Party USA. Communist States of America, let's invite them to our faction and we stand together. Oh, Italy joined Daichua Kyriaken, so we will fight against the Italians as well. So, I'll send my tanks to Italy, uh, to this front actually. I'll send these 14 divisions to this front, and then, okay, they are being sent already, Rotheim at front. And these as well, so let's send these divisions. It's not this front. So now we have around 97 divisions facing the Italians, well, they are gonna be surprised. Let's. I need field marshals. I need field marshals. Let's promote him. Oh, he's a good one. Let's promote him. Come on. And we need to promote uh, Peter Wilson. Let's promote Andrei Vlasov. Andrei Vlasov, there we go. You are going to push into central Italy. Vlasov, join us events and the tanks. Yeah, we're gonna control the tanks by ourselves. Uh, join our battle. And there we go, justification for conquering them is finished, so let me know if you would like to see a continuation of this episode. And if so, if you should attack even the British, or if you should stop after attacking the Italians. Oh, they declared war to us already. Uh, oh, they they did, they did, they did, they, they did declare war, well, that, that's interesting. They're gonna fall now, nevertheless, bloody hell. Yep, they will, Leon Trotsky, go, go attack. I'm gonna. Well, they, they did declare war already. Well, I need to call my allies, and that's the problem. And uh, where is it? Yeah, fine. Let's start a pact with non-aggression with you all. Actually, fine here, British. I'm gonna yield. <laughs> and somebody join our faction, but I also think can join our faction. Well, that's a great thing. Then uh, where's the war? Here, there we go. Calling our allies. Now they all, of course, join. Now we're attacking them. I'm just marching into the territory, basically, which this war will be really easy to win. And, well, Russia, I get your frozen. We can invite one more faction, we can invite Spain. Let's invite Spain as well. Invite the faction of in Spain, and we stand together. Stand together. These 45 troops attack these 8 divisions. They attack aggressively as well into Italy. There we go, these 44 as well, really aggressive. Okay, so now we are fighting against, well, unified against Japan. Well, Japan has closed the capitulation already, thanks to the British war effort. We are still gonna, uh, well, get so many war squads as we can. Yeah, just rush through the territory, basically. Let's see, well, our units just breaking through the line. The, they lost the mountains without, well, any defense. That's, well, not so nice for the Italians, perhaps. Not so nice for the Italians at all. Just check the map mode here. Just, huh. And Mengukuo did capitulate. Let's check Mengukuo. Uh, all this little nation there. 
Liquid India movement. Well, I don't know what's this problem really. Why did we control this area and not the other? Oh, Bulgaria joined us. Bulgaria. The Bulgarians, well, they won't be a threat. Why did they join us? Well, they are non aligned, but they are because of the Italians, I think. Yeah. Well, the Romanians could join us at one point. Yeah. They could, so let's finish the war quick. Well, against the Italians, we are winning at once. That shouldn't be a problem. Let's check our losses. They are uh, our high. Our losses are uh, 11,000. Yeah, I'm not going to tell to slaughter them. Yeah, slaughtering them isn't really necessary, I think, especially against such weak enemies. Alright. So, yeah, just look. The British captured. Well, since when does the AI know how to do a successful naval invasion? Just look. They captured most of the major cities. If they capture Nagoya or Hiroshima, then the Japanese will surrender. To that, well, that's really, really interesting to say the least. Sadly, we can't see the British effort here. Still, really, really interesting. Now we finished our nuclear reactors, although this didn't really help us. Um, well, let's build more uh, nuclear reactors, perhaps. More nuclear reactors. Yeah, come on, let's maximize our opponents out, building good of the nuclear stuff. Building it only in our best provinces, so in Westfalen, mm, here as well, we here, and also poison and wells. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, fine, here as well in this province, as well as in this province. I can build with so much of that stuff, unbelievable. Well, I'm going to take a cut here, the war is going splendid. The Japanese, they Quick catch at Tokyo, but not for long. So, uh, thank you all for watching me. Don't forget to like and to subscribe. I'm Sacred, and I'm out. Have a good day to you all, and see you next time. Goodbye.